Hi, this is Shade Grace. Welcome to Write with God Ministries. I have a quick message titled Fall from Grace. Fall from grace or falling from grace is an expression often used by people, yet often misunderstood. Why? Because a lot of people, including preachers, pick scriptures out of context, teach on them without understanding, and sell lies to people. And these lies have been believed over time. But thank God for the revelation of truth. Hallelujah. When you hear fall from grace, what comes to mind? Typically, what comes to mind is a Christian who used to be fervent, who used to be consistent, who used to be obedient and active in service unto God, begin to sin to the point they become irredeemable. They sin to the point they lose their salvation. But is this correct? The answer is no. A believer in Christ cannot lose their salvation. We did nothing to earn it. Therefore, we can do nothing to lose it. It is a gift given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. And we receive it. If it be true that a believer can sin to the point they lose their salvation, then the word of God will be contradicting itself. And we know that it is not possible. Because Romans chapter 5 verse 20 clearly states that where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. So you see, my friend, it is not possible to lose your salvation because you sin. Yes, there are so many reasons we do not sin. But losing your salvation or falling from grace is not one of them. As a believer in Christ Jesus, it is in the grace of our Lord Jesus that we stand, according to Romans chapter 5, verse 2. So, what was Apostle Paul talking about when he said that you fall from grace? If you look at Galatians chapter 1, verse 6, here Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the churches in Galatia expressing his disappointment why because they quickly deviated they quickly deserted the message of grace that he brought to them for another gospel for another message and this message is saying that they are only justified when they obey the law the jewish law which is the law of circumcision thereby putting a yoke upon themselves. Look at Galatians chapter 5 from verse 1. Apostle Paul said to them, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. And verse 2, Look, I Paul say to you that if you are self-circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who has self-circumcision that he is obligated to keep the whole law. You who are severed from Christ, you would be justified by the law. You who would be justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. So you see, my friend, Apostle Paul was talking to people who believe that they can be justified by keeping the law is this possible of course it is not possible no human being on the surface of the earth can keep the 613 law it is not possible and remember what james chapter 2 verse 10 says that if you break one of those laws you are guilty of breaking every other law this complete 613 so you see my friend it is not possible to be justified by the law 
How are we saved again? By grace, through faith. Anything outside of this is false. Those of us in Christ Jesus will believe that we are saved by grace. It is not by works. We cannot boast. Therefore, we cannot lose our salvation because our hope is in Jesus and what he has accomplished on the cross for us. But to anyone who choose to be saved by their own works through their own righteousness have rejected the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So these persons are not enjoying the grace of God. They are far away from it. And whoever rejects this grace is definitely not a believer. But for those of us who have received the gift of salvation, we are saved. We are in the grace of God and we forever remain in the grace of God. Hallelujah. So beloved, I bring you this good news. Do not let anybody threaten you that you can lose your salvation. You did nothing to earn it. You can do nothing to, to lose it. It is the grace of God that you enjoy. It is for this freedom that Christ has set you free. Remain free. Do not again submit to the yoke of slavery. Hallelujah. It is in grace that you live. It is in grace that we move. It is in grace that we have our being. Thank God for freedom. Continue to walk in freedom, my friend. Remain blessed. If you enjoyed this video, please like and drop a comment below. For more grace-based Bible teachings, please subscribe to our channel. Please visit us on Facebook and our website at writewithgodministries.com.